day four and uh, still looking strong. It's lasted overnight, which is really good. Um, plan for the morning is to go over to our fish farm, which is maybe about five kilometers that way. Uh, then we'll show Richard some, how we do the fish sowing. It's probably one of our lowest days tomorrow, just because we've emptied two of the ponds. We've sold out the fish in those that we kept in the happers, and it's just a case of um, sailing a new pond for the fish. But we didn't really want lots of orders, primarily because um, we aren't going to be, well, we, we don't want to spend a huge amount of focus on that. This is the task of the week is when Rich is here to do all the things we need to do. So, uh, see that? We might take him to the local market if I get a chance. And then we'll come back this afternoon and get this sheet across. Um, and then we're going to do some staff training in here with the BSF, which should be good. And it'll take a bit longer because we're going to do a bit of translation. We'll cover some of the basics because there's people who haven't ever seen the maggots before. Um, so whilst they, that's going on, I'm going to try and, um, this will have been over, and I'm going to try and fix that. Um, so yeah, I'm just, <laughs> I'm still wearing the same jeans I've been wearing for four days now, and they, they're, they're so dirty they could almost stand up by themselves. Um, but the one thing here is everyone's, everything's hand washed, and so because I'm going to be working and get filthy, I figured I might as well just keep the same clothes on and just not stand too close to people. So they can't smell me, but look how beautiful it is. Uh, it's one of the wonderful things. Every now and again, I stop and have a look and just admire the scenery because it, it is pretty, it's very beautiful um, where I work. And you know, when the sun's just coming out like this, you'd really appreciate it. So we're just making the ice. You see, Presh, Precious here is making the ice. Thanks, Precious. Let's just having to top it up anyway because. The power that the water is off, which is something that is fairly free. So it's a little bit of a tank. See the ice. Ready for the, the day's sales. Oh, there we go. Got cleaning going on. Um, yeah. Let's have a bit of a hubbub of activity, and I always feel really lazy because I get up around this 7 or 7. Um, everyone else, which is when the sun comes up. Well, I mean, the sun comes up at 6.45, but it's, you know, everyone's working away and I'm lazing around, eh? So, but I'm not a morning person, uh, but I'm still, in comparison to a typical Ugandan, I'm definitely lazy. You see, we've done something. Um, it does just happen to be, ironically, the hottest part of our stay so far, and we're trying to put this on, and it's absolutely roasting inside, so... You know, nothing like a bit of hardship, but we've basically got the plastic over, got the mesh wrapped up in that piece of wood which goes all the way along, and then we need to roll that up to get it tight, then hang that to the ground, then pull it over and get it sorted that side. Um, yeah, it's making some progress. Just very hot in here. Isn't it, Richard? Are you feeling hot? <laughs> I think the flies will like it though. So this is why we wanted this, because it's definitely raised the temperature in the place and the humidity as well, especially if you put a bit of water in here. So, so yeah, we're working on it. This is the critical part where we're cutting it. So they're going back, I forget this. Just give me a line, like this one, Okay. So we've got to hold it here. So there, it's going all right. So we've uh, so late, getting late in the day as per. Um, we've put, had to put, we had to wait around because we had to get these two bits of timber in because it was just sagging too much um, in the middle. So pretty poly tunnel ish and we're going to do that, cut that, put the post up, wrap it up and then get it as tight as we can. So yeah, it's been frustrating, I'm not going to lie, just how long it takes, but just in the sense that we want to get these flies breeding, 
uh, while Richard is here so he can help us and we're now day four we've got day five and six with them and then he's gone so if we can get this done today then it means that we'll have two days of flies mating just him helping us tinkering with the project but yeah it's not bad so the gents are hoping to finish today and I think they're not too far away from that because they've just got these piles to do maybe cut the cut the side a bit so it's a bit smoother and then a bit of leveling just so it's not so uneven so that we can plant grass and, and it does when you know you have to think what's going to look like in in a bit of time when we the grass is all grown up so we want it to be fairly smooth so that we have a lot of visitors here um, and it looks better so just sort of tidying up and then this should be done today which is great we had a schedule considering the amount of mud they've had it's pretty good going um, and we're filling well i didn't show you that yeah we're filling uh, pond isaac currently and it's been filling now there's a bit of an issue with the water flow we've probably got mud in the pipe so we're going to open it up hopefully later uh, and then if we need to get the borrower a pump just to sort of put pressure through and then blow the mud out that we'll do that so you can see it's coming in but it's not as quick as it should be got the two extra long pipes at the end there so yeah it's good and then we've all the happers are out because we've got fish that we're selling this morning so we are getting there which is very exciting um got more work at the farm today than we sort of wanted because we wanted to be focused on the bsf polytunnel and the bsf training but we might have to let some, a few things slip to the side and then do those in the next couple of days because we really want to get the polyton up today so we can get these flies mating. But I wanted to show Richard the, the process we go through in harvesting our fish. So here they are in the pepper. These are the last ones from Pond uh, and Raising. Just sorting them out for our customers. Right, another late one. Um, you can see the progress we've made though. It looks pretty, this end's done. Just need to, of course, put some frame. But that's pretty easy. We've got some netting material. Just cut a square, and then uh, tie it to the to the side. Um, this bit, again, done the sides. Just need to work out a door. But again, we'll just put some netting for now. Um, and we've sort of done the join, which is good. Um, but I need to go, <laughs> we're, we're working late and uh, our guests are much too polite and friendly to eat without us, so unless we go, they will not eat. So, much as I want to carry on just finishing it off, I think by tomorrow we will be ready to put fly, um, the flies in. So, so yeah, end of day four tiring one I don't ever got as much footage today but uh, just I just can't believe I still can't believe how long it takes to do polytunnel but I guess it's because we didn't know what we we're doing really make it up as we go so got all the tools are there all that sort of stuff but right dinner time where we go